Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this ETF report for PowerShares QQQ Trust. The report was first published on our website Friday, June 10, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell PowerShares QQQ Trust? In this video you will get insight in both the technical and the fundamental situation in addition to future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Our systems currently rank the PowerShares QQQ Trust ETF with a minus 3.699 score, and our system has ranked PowerShares QQQ Trust sell candidate since June 8, 2022. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 6.11%. This is an average return of minus 2.04% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for PowerShares QQQ Trust our last headline reads, PowerShares QQQ Trust ETF price ended on $288.84 on Friday after losing 3.53%. The PowerShares QQQ Trust ETF price fell by minus 3.53% on the last day, Friday, June 10, 2022, from $299.40 to $288.84, and has now fallen four days in a row. During the day the ETF fluctuated 2.25% from a day low at $288.38 to a day high of $294.87. The price has fallen in six of the last ten days and is down by minus 3.5% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 31 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 86 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $24.91 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $408.71, and the lowest price was $280.21. Right now the price is 29.33%, or $119.87 below 52-week high at $408.71, which also is all-time high for the ETF. The ETF lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 18.04% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 21.90% and minus 10.26%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 12.22% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 13.12% and 14.36%. This equals a price between $250.95 and $330.32 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets In this section we will give you some information about signals found for PowerShares QQQ Trust. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the ETF. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The PowerShares QQQ Trust ETF holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $304.66 and $305.81. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, June 2, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 7.86%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the ETF should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a buy signal. Pivots gave a sell signal 7 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 21 days ago. The short-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a sell signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal five days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal two days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average gave a sell signal three days ago. The long-term moving average gave a buy signal 53 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages 
gave a buy signal 100 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for PowerShares QQQ Trust PowerShares QQQ Trust finds support from accumulated volume at $288.68 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This ETF has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the ETF moved $6.49 between high and low, or 2.25%. For the last week, the ETF has had a daily average volatility of 2.4%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for PowerShares QQQ Trust. The price-to-earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per-share earnings. PowerShares QQQ Trust currently has a price-earning ratio of 4.07. This is a relatively low price-to-earnings ratio and either signal a low expectation for the future of the company, or that the stock is undervalued and could indicate a buying opportunity. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, PowerShares QQQ Trust meets first resistance at $291.84. If you do not hold PowerShares QQQ Trust shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn PowerShares QQQ Trust finds first level of support at $288.68 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. We hold a negative evaluation for this ETF, no stop loss set. Is PowerShares QQQ Trust ETF a buy? PowerShares QQQ Trust holds several negative signals and is within a wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this ETF. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Monday 13th we expect PowerShares QQQ Trust to open up $1.86 and start trading at $290.70. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Remember that anyone leaving a company stand the chance of winning a lifetime subscription worth $495 to our services. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.